Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the EarthFit blog. It's Ian Hart here, and today I'm going to show you about kefir or how to make kefir. Kefir is a drink, it's fermented, fermented milk, and the word stands for feel good in Turkish. And it goes way back in centuries and centuries ago. The origins were believed to be in the Caucasus Mountains, and this was a secret drink and it would, was only made from kefir grains, these specific grains, if you do not have the grains you can't make the drink and it was passed down from generation to generation and it was a secret within families. They thought the potency of the drink would be diminished if they let the secret out. So I'm going to show you how to make kefir. It's best with raw milk goat's milk or sheep's milk is the best. Today I'm using raw cow's milk. Many people believe that raw milk is not good. It's been stigmatized and that's not true. It's actually way more beneficial and healthy for you. It lasts longer. I can keep this out of the fridge for a day and a half, two days and still drink it and it builds up beneficial bacteria which protects it from the bad bacteria as opposed to pasteurized milk which not only has the nutrients been taken out of it through pasteurization but it can build bad bacteria fairly quickly and it molds very quickly. The benefits of kefir are numerous and varied. They use it for TB, uh, tuberculosis, gastrointestinal issues, um, numerous things. It it's, has so much benefit to it. It's actually now they're doing studies on its antidepressant effects because its name kefir makes you feel good, it actually makes you happy and it helps produce serotonin in the brain which makes you feel better and happier. The grains are currently in this milk. Now the grains can go dormant, I left it in the refrigerator. When it's in a cold environment the grains go dormant you want to keep them out in about 76 to 85 degree temperature and that's where they tend to grow and they feed off the milk the most. So we have the grains in here, I'm going to strain it out, pouring this into a bowl. Okay, so let me give you a little close up there. So right now, I'm not sure if you can see this properly, but the grains are in the strainer and I'm going to transfer that into another clean container. So I'm taking these grains and I'm putting them back into a clean container. And then pouring more milk back into this container. And it depends on the grains, how many, how much grains you have, and you have to monitor how much milk you should put in. It depends. So I'll let this sit now for 24 hours roughly, and then I can go in and I can smell it. I'll cover it with just a towel and a rubber band, so air can get to it and the carbon can be released. I'll smell it. If it has the sweet and sour kefiri smell, then I know it's ready and I'll do the same thing again. I'll strain out the kefir and then it'll be prepared to drink. If it smells a little too yeasty, which sometimes it can after it's been in the refrigerator, I'll exchange more milk in it and then it'll grow into kefir or I can pour more milk right into it and allow it to uh, get the, more of the kefir taste. So, there you have it. I'm going to set this down for about 24 hours roughly depending on how long it takes based on the temperature and the amount of grains. And now this batch is ready for me to drink. So I'm going to pour it back in here and then take a sip and get the benefits of the kefir. So you might have seen my emails about good bacteria. Kefir is loaded with pot beneficial bacteria. It can have up to 56 strains of good bacteria and today many people in the US specifically 
are overridden with bad bacteria in their stomach, their guts, even on the skin, we have bacteria everywhere. And kefir, raw kefir, is one of the best ways to rebalance the good bacteria versus the bad bacteria and get the health benefits which are numerous and varied from this. So if you're in the Beaufort area, I go, I go to Sea Island, Jersey to get my raw milk. You can also order online frozen cow milk or uh, goat's milk from all over the U.S. There's a place up near Columbia, South Carolina where I get my goat's milk from. But I prefer this the best. This is grass-fed. You want to get grass-fed, uh, no antibiotics, healthy cows, and you're going to get the best milk from that which makes the best kefir, there's also the best benefit, um, best nutrients in the grass-fed healthy cow milk. So, this is Ian Hart from the Earth Fit blog, speaking about kefir. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. You can also check out the kefir lady. If you Google the kefir lady, that is where I got my kefir grains from. So I googled the kefir later, I, lady, I sent her an email, she sent me a packet of kefir grains. So you can only make kefir if you have the kefir grains. So keep that in mind, use raw milk and you'll be good to go and you'll feel the benefits of it right away. The first time I drank raw kefir, I felt good instantly. So again, it's Ian Hart, I hope you have a great day.